With the 10th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Mikael Bridges from Villanova University. There's some Sixer fans in the house. It's all Mikael's mom, Tanisha Rivers, who was fired up about this pick. Since 2008, Dante DiVincenzo's college teammate awaiting to hear his name called. Since 2008, Bridges is the ninth four-year college player to make it into the top ten. He continually improved. He was a third-team All-American last year, as Jay mentioned, a two-time national champion. It comes out of the culture, Jay, that you have referred to as the best in college basketball and one that would seemingly really prepare you for pro life. Oh, he is absolutely prepared. And this is a first for Villanova basketball. This is the first time that a Villanova player has worn a nicer and more expensive suit than Jay Wright. <laughs> <laughs> but Mikhail Bridges is, is a 3 and D player. He led the power all power five players in efficiency this last season. An excellent perimeter shooter. He's got a high release as a catch and shoot guy uh, one of the best in the country but he sets himself apart as a defender and as a transition player uh, mentioned his spot up shooting his catch and shoot he made 104 threes this last year but 95 percent of those were assisted so he spots up very well excellent wingspan that helps make him a, a good defender seven two wingspan so he can guard one through three but he's not the type of player that's going to get his own shot. He's a blender that's going to fit in with other really good players. But he proved last year he can get he can continue to get better. I really like him, especially as a person. Terrific teammate. Jay, I'm a fan too. He reminds me a lot of Nicholas Platoon. He can pretty much do it all. He defends. He can go to the basket. He can finish. Knock down the standstill jump shot, like you said. He's long. He's athletic. Don't mind taking on tough offensive players. And I think that's what they need because they're losing a lot on the wing there with, with Philadelphia. So Mikhail Bridges stays close to home. Sensational career at Villanova and will move down into the city. We mentioned his mother, Tanisha Rivers, is vice president of human resources for the 76ers, really the group that owns the 76ers and the New Jersey Devils. And look at her reaction. I, I wonder <laughs> if they let mom in the draft room, let her give a little input there. Mikhail is delighted and all with Maria Taylor now after the Sixers make the pick. We've got mom here too, Tania. We love that celebration and there's not a better storybook ending here. I mean, what does it mean, Mikhail, to be able to play in the same place where you grew up and you've watched your mom work for years? I mean, it means, it means the world to me, you know. Not the fact that I'm home, you know, I'm just putting in a great organization, you know, great coaches, you know, I know who's going to develop me. And they, you know, they, they take a lot of pride in me. They, they, have a, they took a chance at me and I'm I'm just happy, man. It's just a blessing. Mom, how do you describe this moment and it's, how it's come full circle? It's amazing. It's, a, it's an experience I'll never forget. And I'm so excited he's coming home to be part of our Sixers family. It's amazing. <laughs> Go Sixers! You say that you get choked up every time you see him running out of the locker room. Now you get to see him run out of the locker room in the arena you work in. Yeah. I mean, what does that mean? How crazy is that? It's surreal. Uh, it's, it's an amazing experience. I'm so excited. And I'm looking forward to it. And for those that don't know your story, Mikhail, you were a red shirt, you turned into a sixth man of the year, and then you were a captain of a national championship team. So how has your journey made you the player that you are? It's a lot of work, man. I, I've i been through a lot. I know different roles. You know, I came off the bench. I sat out. I started. I was a captain. I was a, you know, star player. I've been through everything. And I mean, I don't know. I just I just want to thank God for this. I'm just I'm too, I'm too, too happy for this. Congratulations. Thank you, so you guys much. enjoy this. You're Thank welcome. you. And the Philadelphia 76ers taking Mikhail Bridges, and we welcome in our guy in Philadelphia, George Sedano. Mr. Sedano, what can you tell us about the organization's thinking in making the pick? Well, Rachel, ultimately they've realized with Michael Porter Jr. on the board, they said, you know what, enough of the red shirt years. <laughs> so they decided to take a guy that can help them right away. Three of their best shooters are going to be free agents in J.J. Redick, Marco Bellinelli, and Ursani Levasova. So they took a guy who's a good 3 and D player. They can plug in and play with Embiid and Simmons right now. And this kid can do this. He's a two-time champion, a junior. He's got a man's body, a 7-2 wingspan at 6'7". So he's ready to roll. 
I'm getting some wingspan envy from this entire night of draft talk. Obviously, also, you know, local ties, right, George? I mean, there's got to be some feel-good element with the organization as well. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Local kid, local product. And the other part is his mom works for the organization. She's the VP of Human Resources. So that's pretty cool. Her office is actually just a couple of steps away from this practice court right behind me. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for I was him, say, but she'll at least be close. <laughs> Do you think she's packing his lunches still? Do you think like if he messes up, Brett Brown's going to send him to his mom's <laughs> office? How do you think this is going to work? Yeah, my guess is the locker room may give him a little grief about that at some point, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure that Taniha Rivers is pretty happy about it, though. I got I some Suns news for you guys. Uh -oh. According to Woj, the Suns are acquiring Mikhail Bridges, so not going to be the hometown kid in Philly for, for very long, um, in a deal that will send Smith to wow. the Sixers. League sources tell ESPN. Suns oh. will send the 2021 first-round pick via Miami in deal as well. What do you think of that, Zach? Wow. <laughs> that 2021 Miami pick is sneakily one of the more valuable draft picks in the league. It's completely unprotected. Miami's future looks eh right now. Like, okay, eh. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to sit back and, and look at the that's math of, of, of how much to give up to move. Like, that's a valuable pick. It could, now, it could, 2021, who knows who Miami signs with right. now and then. It, it may not end up as valuable, so there's definitely some uncertainty. But... That's that's a gem that the Suns were very proud to have gotten in that Goran Dragic trade, and so now it belongs to Philadelphia. They must really like Bridges, then, huh? I mean, Mikel Bridges, he's a he's an old school type of player. Right. He's an old school type of player. I, I actually I I like that. I mean, granted, I don't know about the pick, but I, I like the pick up the personnel wise for them. I mean, that gives them another. It's a defensive guy that can actually shoot. I mean, that, that's what you wanted from Josh Jackson. Right. Originally, but the shooting part it hasn't come to fruition yet. But who knows if it will? Mikel Bridges still, brings yeah. that to the table. Yeah. Just now, and, and Phoenix may well be be able to put protections on that pick, you know, on the Miami pick, which starts unprotected. But they it has, like, can, can you do that? Can as you a, add a, a protection to a pick it, as you're trading Philly and, around? Philly and Boston did it in okay. the, in the Fultz trade last year, so I believe in this case it would also be legal. But that's a that's a really interesting trade because it's essentially moving up six I, spots right. and giving up this pick that to do just it. It seems like a lot. It's it's going to be it's it's very much like the Doncic trade earlier this this draft. It's going to be interesting to monitor sort of how the, the calculus of that changes over time.